I decided to make this video about errors and what they mean. We will be working with some RPSLS code and I hope to show you some common errors I have found on the forums and in the mini projects. Hopefully I can give you a better understanding of them so you can more efficiently resolve them and others you encounter. At first error messages can seem rather cryptic but they will start to make more sense the more you work with them and solve them. Some of us helping on the forums can look at an error and guess pretty accurately what the problem is in some cases. In other cases there can be many ca causes and we need additional information. I recommend going through this code on your own and fixing the errors as well for practice after the video. Python first checks for syntactic errors before it tries to run the code. Syntactic errors are ones where the code is not in a valid format. So let's begin. I'll just remove these comments here. Okay. So our first line here, as you can see, says import brand. You may have noticed that it should be import random, but we're going to ignore that for now because that line is syntactically correct. If there was a file called rand that had some functions in it, then that line would work. So there's nothing wrong with it syntactically. Okay, let's run the program, or attempt to. So the first error it finds is syntax error, bad input on line 6, def. Okay, we look at line 6 and we say define other function brackets. I don't see anything wrong with it. Well, a lot of times what happens is the error is actually on the previous line because something was not finished. So Python scanning through and say, oh, I'm going to look at this line. It hasn't finished. I'll continue on. And once it gets to a point where it says, okay, this doesn't make any sense anymore, it gives an error on the line it happens to be on, which may not necessarily be the line that the error is on. So if we look right before it, we see that we have defined some function here. Okay, let's uh, just comment that out for a moment. Okay, our error has changed to the next line. Well, what's going on here is that if you define a function, don't, don't put anything in the function, it causes an error. So one thing you can do if you have a function that you just haven't got a chance to make yet, is you can either comment out function line, or you can put in this statement, pass. What pass will do is it's basically a no operation, it just doesn't do anything, and it just gives the function some code to allow it to pass the syntactic check. So we'll click run again. We're still on the same line. Syntactic error badly input on line 8. And a whole bunch of quotes and says I will put something here. Well that's the quote line here. Well we have a triple quote and then we have some text and some more text and a triple quote. So at first this might look like there's nothing wrong with it. But even comments like this need to be indented properly in Python. So let's go back to the start here and indent them. Okay, now I'll try to run again. Well, our next problem is down here. Name equals lizard. It says syntactic error, bad input on line 21, name. Okay, well the line itself seems like it's a good line. We're trying to put lizard in name, that's fine. The only problem here again is the indentation. It should be within this else if block. So we'll indent it. That'll solve that error. Okay, next line we have return name. It says syntax error, bad input on line 29, return. Well, return name is fine. So why are we getting the error? The reason we're getting this error is, well, there's nothing wrong with that line, so let's look at the line before it. We have print bad number sent to number to name. But we forgot to put the bracket on the end of it. Now, in this case, we actually don't need brackets around it either, so we could have just removed the bracket at the start as well. Okay, next. Syntax error, bad input on line 42 equals. Okay, else if name equals scissors. Well, at first glance, you might think that there's nothing wrong with this line as well. But since it's a comparison, 
we need the double equals and not a single equals. So we'll put in our double equals and continue. Well, print. What do we got here? Syntax error, bad token, apostrophe, quote, apostrophe. Okay, what what is a bad token? I mean, that really makes no sense, but if we look at the line, we see print, bad name, sent to name to number. Oh, if you look at the start here, we have a quote, but we don't have an ending quote, so we better put that in. Okay, continuing on. Oh, what do we got here? Else difference equals equals zero. That seems okay at first. What's the problem? Well, it's a syntax error, bad input on line 67, bracket, quote, bracket, quote, bracket. What's going on here? We have difference equals zero here, and up here we have difference is greater than or difference is equal. It should be the same. Well, not really. In the else case, you cannot have a condition. It is just simply else. So we'll remove our condition. And we'll continue on. Syntax error again. Bad input on line 76, colon. Well, here is one I've seen before. You put the colon after the if. Well, a colon is supposed to come after the condition, so we'll move condition to the end of the line. And we'll try again. No, we still have an error in line. Only now it says the equal sign's an error. But as we saw above, this is a comparison, and we need to double equals. Okay. Oh, next line we have an error too. Syntax error, bad token. Oh, we have the bad token again. And last time we saw it was a bit because of a missing quote. However, in this case, it's actually the fact that we have a single quote at the front and a double quote at the end. So we need to change one of them. So we'll change the one at the end. Oh, what's this going? Syntax error, bad input on line 84. Apostrophe, some spaces, and an apostrophe. Well, here again is because we have an indentation problem. It shows basically two spaces here, and that's because we have two extra spaces in the front here. So we'll remove the two extra spaces here. Click it again, and you'll see here that's showing there's four extra spaces. Okay, so we'll fix this one, and since we know these ones are going to be a problem, we'll fix them as well. Okay, so we're at the bottom of our file. We fixed all our syntactic errors, so we should be fine, right? Oh, nope. There's a problem here still. This is a bad token again. Okay. So again, we have a quote here, and it's not matched at the end because the quote is different, so we'll fix that up. Oh, what happened here? Now we're at the top again? Why did we get to the bottom of checking for errors, and then all of a sudden start at the top with errors again? Well, what's going on here is that we fixed all the lines syntactically, so Python says that all the lines are valid lines. However, now it's attempting to start running the program. And the first line, import brand, it tries to import brand. But it cannot find brand, and therefore reports an import error. No module named rand. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. So let's change that to random. And what do we got now? Oh, it jumped way down here. Okay, we might have problems in these functions here, but since the functions are not running yet, the first line of code that actually runs, other than the import, is this line down here, because it's part of the main program. So over here we have name error. Name rock is not defined. Well, that's basically telling us that it's looking for a variable named rock, and it can't find that it's defined. So if we look back over to code, we see that we have a variable here named rock that is trying to be sent to RPSLS, but there's nothing beforehand that gives it any value. And you may be thinking, well, why didn't we find this error before when we were down here? Well, it's because it's not a syntactic error because that statement is perfectly fine, it is valid. If there was a statement up here that said rock equals something, then it would work fine. 
However, this is not what we want to do in this case. We actually want it to be a string and not a variable. So we'll put our quotes around it. And we'll continue on. Okay, this one says name error, name number is not defined. Well, that's basically the same thing we just had. So, why is that? Well, we have name variable here. We have a name variable that's passed into the function. So that should be fine. So what's going on here? Well, this one's a little odd, but if you look at it close, you'll see it says number equals equals name to number. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to do a comparison, but this is not what we want. We actually just want name equals. We want to do an assignment. Okay. So now we have type error. Number object is not callable. Okay. Well, we look at this line and we see at the end, I just put this in just so I could come up with this error, but we're doing five times one, or well, so we would think that it's doing five times one because mathematically if we have something outside of a bracket and something inside of a bracket, we'd multiply them together. Well, in Python, this is not the case. You actually need a multiplies there. So if we put that in and we continue, we're fine as far as that error goes. Let's just go back to that for a minute. So it says number objects is not callable. Well, what it's trying to do is it's trying to call a function named 5 with the argument 1. Well, you can't call a function named 5. So that's why it's having an, a problem here. So where we don't need this, let's just remove that.